Uh, we have a produce processing facility for local farmers. Uh, also here, there's Judd Hub with a bunch of offices. There's a spa here. There's the rock climbing gym right here next door. There's a music venue. There's a brewery coming. I think in to Living in Greenville, South Carolina. We're going to bring you everything Greenville, Greater Greenville, Upstate of South Carolina. Be sure to like and subscribe and please comment. Let us know what kind of videos you want to see. We're going to put them on here. Thanks so much for being a part of this and welcome to Living in Greenville, South Carolina. So we are here at the Judson Mill. This is an old Milliken textile mill that used to be uh, very active. Uh, of course, South Carolina was founded and basically is known for textiles over all these years. But of course, as the mills have, uh, have closed because the manufacturing has gone overseas and this kind of thing, a lot of the old mills and mills in the upstate of South Carolina and across the state of South Carolina have been turned into incredible new facilities which are, are housing tons of businesses and housing and all sorts of great uh, opportunities for the community and this is no different this is the former judson mill they are calling this now judson mill lofts and this is going to be obviously uh, apartments and really cool places that you can rent and live here in downtown greenville again we're on the west end we're just uh, very close to the bon Secours. Uh, hospital to the Greenville Memorial Hospital. Both of the main hospitals in Greenville are within just a few minutes drive by car. And so the location is really fabulous. Okay, so we are here at Feed and Seed here at the Judson Mill. Now this is actually at a place called the Warehouse as well. And it is unbelievably cool. So you have all sorts of cool things today. Of course, here you see uh, <laughs> well, the North Pole and ski slopes are not far away, but then also hot cocoa, candy cane forest. And then right down here is Santa Claus. So we're actually going to go check him out in just a second. And then I can't wait to show you the biggest surprise of this entire venue coming shortly. Now what we're going to right now, this is Feed and Seed Haney Hip Community Room. This is an event space here at Feed and Seed at the Judson Mill. So let's check it out. So we have Melody here with us. So Melody, please tell us about this wonderful place. So we're here at Feed and Seed at Judson Mill. We are a nonprofit food hub. We partner with local farmers and we're just trying to get good local produce and local goods on local tables. That's wonderful, wow. And then what else is in this whole complex here at Judson Mill? Uh, we take up about 18,000 square feet here with our grocery, our kitchen, our processing facilities, our gigantic refrigerators. Uh, we have a produce processing facility for local farmers. Uh, also here, there's Judd Hub with a bunch of offices. There's a spa here. There's the rock climbing gym right here next door. There's a music venue. There's a brewery coming, I think in February. Wow. Yeah. Lots of great Lots stuff. Lots of great stuff going That's on. That's incredible. Well, and you look fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank brightening our day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, and like I said, this is the feed and seed here, the Haney Hip Community Room provided by the Hip Family, the Hemings, and, and Young Office Supply. Lots of great space here. And this is where Santa Claus is here at today, seeing all the kids and the adults. <laughs>
give you a quick glance of the rules here. They have a lot of information. Facility, facility attire, gym map, getting to know our tags, and then the tag circuits, of course, the red being the easiest. And that's all the information there. And then what you'll also see are these businesses are going in here. So right over there, that's going to be a brewery. That's uh, the, the, uh, the permits there on the door. They're just beginning construction on that on the inside. And then this is the foundry. This is uh, Cowboy Up that is already here in this location. Now where we have been today that you might've seen on the earlier video is we've been here at Block Haven, which is such a cool climbing gym, but they don't call it a climbing gym. They call it more of a bouldering gym. So you can do uh, a little bit of rock climbing and a lot of bouldering if that's what you'd like to do. You can see the sign there, Block Haven. This whole uh, area here is called the warehouse. And then of course, this is the feed and seed at Judson Mill. This is where you can get that, uh, the fresh local food from all sorts of uh, vegetables and fruits that are local just to the South Carolina, North Carolina, even Georgia area. And then of course, that's the community room on down here. So what a wonderful, wonderful place. Hey, here we are. I am so excited to be here at Block Haven. Now this is here at the old Judson Mill. This is part of this incredible space that they have converted here at the Judson Mill area. And just made it such a creative, a wonderful space that you can uh, participate in. There's also weightlifting and other like um, bicycles, treadmills, all sorts of stuff for activities here as you can see. And also they participate with the local Judson Mill YMCA, I think with the after school program, letting the kids come over and do climbing and all sorts of stuff. So what Block Haven is, is a bouldering gym as you can see. And what that is, like this part right here, I'm standing under one of the most difficult areas. And this is of course because of that angle. So these are permanent structures. The, the wood structures are permanent. Everything else on there can kind of move and be moved around and they can do different configurations. So this is a very unique gym in that way with it being a bouldering gym. And the difference being that they have this very <clears throat> squishy, squishy uh, mat that they have around everything. So you can see that there's a mat around all of the surfaces so that it's not like when you're rappelling down the side of a mountain or a climbing wall where you have rope, there is an area for that. But in these areas, this is where you climb down to a certain point at least halfway. Then they recommend you jumping off, landing on your feet and falling backwards onto your back. So keeping you safe, keeping everyone around you safe. So it's a very cool, fun activity that if you haven't tried it, you've got to get out here and try it. So let me show you a little more. Now, as you can see, right down there are the, the repelling walls, like where you climb up and then of course come back down uh, with the assistance of the rope. But here behind me, as you can see, these really creative curves and arches that they have here, these are the more complicated bouldering walls that they have. And they're really cool. Again, remembering that the reds are the easiest and you can climb up to those and then come back down and then jump off about halfway. Everything else goes a little bit more complicated on a scale of one to 13. Zero, of course, being the easiest on the reds and then everything else being one to 13 with 13 being the most difficult level. So you've got all sorts of skill levels and skill sets here. And this is something that um, people who are rock climbers would love to do this obviously practicing very safely wherever they might be climbing just like this gentleman behind me here so 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 cool
just feel at Blockhaven in Greenville, South Carolina. Such a cool experience. I'm terrified to be farther. So I'm going to stay right here. And um, I just got to tell you, this is something you've got to try. So if you're interested in hot have a great time just doing something for fun that's different or making your arms really tired. <laughs> you got to come out here and try this. This is really, really cool. Okay, as you can see, this gets pretty complicated. I'm not really sure I could imagine climbing up on this one, that's for sure. This is quite challenging, and there are people here doing that. Um, these under here, obviously, are gonna be very challenging, helping people learn how to hang from very difficult situations when they're rock climbing. So what a cool and wonderful place.